So in glaucoma, the eyeball uh, fills up with fluid and gets big and hard and painful. The normal eye makes fluid behind the iris in these glands called the ciliary apparatus. It flows through the pupil and goes out into the circulation. In glaucoma, the eye will get big and hard and this instrument measures the pressure by how much it deflects the surface. A soft eye, it's quite easy to press. So that would register a low pressure. The big old eye, the hard eye, it's not easy to push in, so it registers a higher pressure. So we give them drugs to either help them stop making the fluid or open up these drains or angles so the fluid can get away. Sometimes the eyeball, we just can't stop it from getting big and hard and um, painful, so we have to take the eyeball out. And that's this called a salvage procedure, but dogs do pretty well with one eye because they don't have to do very much anymore. We take care of them. And people do fine with one eye, and dogs do fine with one eye. Mostly it's the owners, we as owners and pet, and love our pets, we, can't, we don't want them to go without an eye, but it's really a, a procedure that works quite nicely. The, uh, if your dog comes in from the outside, it can hold its eye closed. It, it probably is painful. It can be a scratch on the cornea. It can be a piece of a plant stuck behind the lids. Um, hay fever suffers and dogs can uh, be reacting to the wind that brings in the pollens and the dust and making the eye red and itchy and scratchy and painful. But real painful eyes are usually caused by something else. Trauma or glaucoma or dry eye can cause an eye just to not feel good. In order for us to really look at the eye and, and to test it, we need to put numbing drops on it first in order to numb the surface of the cornea and the membranes of the eye so that the poor little dog doesn't mind us poking around in there to see what the problem is. So we put the drops on the surface of both eyes and that will allow us to look around there. This dog has a grayish tinge to its eye. This is caused by a cataract in the lens. This can be due to diabetes or just aging. Notice that this eye also has a lot of uh, vessels in the sclera, or the white part of the eye, and inflammation in the membranes. That's often due to something that's irritating that eye. In this case, it's, it is the glaucoma. Compare the other eye. The white of the eye is nice and clear. The cornea, you can see right through to the iris or the colored part of the eye and the pupil looks nice and black. That's a pretty normal part of the eye and don't forget the membranes that are nice and pale pink. They're not red. So we're going to use a tonometer which is a pressure instrument which will push on the eyeball and let us know what the pressure is in the, in the eyeball. So we have to depress the eyeball a couple times and believe me you need uh, anesthetic for this because no dog likes it. And the pressure will show up on a gauge on the tonometer. And a, usually the normal pressure is around 25, so anything below that's good. However, the left eye turned out to have a pressure of 80 to a 90, which is really high and doesn't really look good for that eye. So the right eye is just turned out to be, we did a few more times and it turned out to be a little high. The left eye is really high so we're going to use some drops and also use some other medications for this little guy to see if we can lower the pressure. So what we usually use, the most common things veterinarians use is called Timolol. That's usually the, the old standard and that's the first line of defense. So here's Dr. Greg keeping an eye on you. Check out the website at dogdishdiet.com. I updated some recipes if you want to home cook for your dogs. And also, I'm going to sell my books at a holiday price. So, give your dog the gift of health this holiday season.